Alright, I think this is real. Uh, Dreamland. Pika did us on Dreamland. Who besides Bark Sanchez actually wants to see that? Gross. You guys could at least pick the different level. Alright, whatever. Oh, MHA doesn't have the, um, doesn't have a read to carry him off that platform. Excuse me? Oh, man. MHA getting a, a little overextension there with those back airs. <laughs> Daniel throws out the hard read F smash. Oh! MHA misses a grab and gets another one. And that kills it 79%? Good lord. What is this, Yoshi's Island? Oh, Daniel almost had a nice chain there. Still makes it back on stage and gets the stock? No, MHA's still alive. And he goes, just do it again. Yep, good move from Daniel. Ties it up. Oh, here we go. A couple up smashes, but he can't keep it going. Gets the back throw. Nice read from MHJ. Can he get another one? Oh, he could have just held on to it, but he still had the read. Wow, he is all over Daniel, and Daniel just couldn't make the uppies keep happening there. MHJ learned to uh, edge guard Pika's recovery pretty well. Oh, nice. The down air into up smash. Oh, but he can't keep the combo going. Yeah, Pika combos are tough, man. It's not like Falcon, you just forward throw up air, up air. Yeah. Oh, the overextension that time works. Like great edge guarding from MHA, but Daniel uh, missing his up B again. Um, that was kind of like a signature Daniel thing when he first picked up Pikachu. Uh, I think like the first week at Xanadu, he has to eat like 15 times. And we were like, oh man, Daniel, you gotta, gotta fix that. And he looked good the rest of the time, but... He's had uh, two SDs this game. Granted, one of them, MHJ read his recovery like five times in a row. Yeah, that's why you should come every time, V. Anytime, dude. There's a reason we go all the time. <laughs> v just realizing that alcohol is pretty great. <laughs> Bird up. Oh, uh, MHJ. JV3 is the first game. We'll see if uh, Daniel sticks with the Pikachu. Uh, MHJ, obviously, more experienced with the Pikachu, but Daniel's a very smart player. Uh, picks up characters very well, and he did play Pikachu for a long time and was starting to look pretty good. Just hasn't played him in a long time. Sh guess he's shaking off the rest a little bit. Um, no, no disrespect to MHA though. MHA is one of the, you know, one of the best players in Baltimore now. He started off uh, pretty decent, but um, over the course of last season, you know, through the winter and spring, he just stepped up on another level. Um, top five, yeah. LD, Bark, Dark, Shears, either MHA or Mears. I don't know what their track record is lately when Daniel plays his main, but. Daniel takes that first stock pretty convincingly. Oh, well he goes for the straight across, but doesn't get the ledge cancel. Oh, that was a nice zip to the top platform to get out of the trouble. Oh, nice. Pushing him off stage. Gets the ledge. Oh, he calls him out. MHJ likes to go straight across. He calls him out on that. Gets the up tilt to back air. That's not going to kill, though. Um, MHJ has a lot of room to recover. Oof. Daniel had the read. Missed the execution. But was still able to follow up with a grab.
Yeah, the Giants and Giants and Mets, bottom of the fourth. Nothing, nothing. Keeping you guys updated. The Mets have two hits. The Giants have none. Yo, if the Mets no hit the Giants, oh my God, I'm gonna jinx. I'm gonna jinx it so bad. Oh, nice shield pressure from MHJ, but he still gets grabbed out of it. Daniel with the walk off there. Oh, going so deep. They both make it back. Wow. Daniel went so deep for that. That was crazy. MHJ gets the F smash. Gets the down air read. And Daniel loses another stock. But he still has a two stock. He has two to one lead on MHJ. And he goes in and gets the grab. That's not going to do it. Oh, nice zip straight across to that side platform, but right into Daniel's arms. Wow, one to one, all tied up. All right, so right back into it. <laughs> it's just throwing out nares now. Oh, poking it up airs. Oh, wow. MHA walks right into his up tilt. Daniel pushes him off stage. <laughs> Uh, risky business from MHJ. Daniel uh, takes him out. Wow, nice walk off up air. <laughs> the dash stack. Oh, Daniel pokes out an up air. Gets up back on the stage. Oh, Wispy kind of uh, helps him out there, but he doesn't finish the combo. Yeah. It's a charity case, V. <laughs> oh, wow. Daniel hard read with that back air. Oh, Daniel camping him out up four to two. Oh, nice fastball in there, but MHJ gets the jab grab and finally takes the stock. Yeah, we're they're playing Goldeneye at uh, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh my god. Yeah, and Crazy Taxi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Crazy Taxi and Smash. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I played it like once on the Dreamcast or something stupid. Oh, nice pivot back here from MHJ. Can he get the edge guard? Wow, that was great. He read him like a book. He just threw out the up tilt. Great timing. Oh, and he up east the ledge just in case. Uh, so Daniel just needs one grab. That'll do it. Two to one. But MHJ has been bringing it back. Oh, down air, up air. Oh. Nice back here. Oh, and MHJ gets the jab grab. Starting to rack up some damage. Oh, the triple grab. I've never seen it. Oh, he does for the unnecessary up B. Trying to show off. And Daniel could... Oh, he gets him off stage. Doesn't get the read, but Daniel in a much more favorable position because of that. Oh, and he's off stage. See if he gets a read. Oh, and he gets that back here. Nice in there. Oh, he gets back on stage. Yeah, that's fucked up, V. You're not going to claim your teammate? You're going to let MH... Yeah, <laughs> oh, he gets the grab. 
Last stock. MHA at 100%. Daniel at zero. Oh, and he grabs him off the ledge. <laughs> and Daniel, after getting kind of handled game one, comes back and takes him out.